Hi, one of Fan Gamer's most popular items has to be the Undertale Collector's Edition. And I so happen to own it. So today, I'm reviewing the Undertale Collector's Edition. The Collector's Edition includes the Collector's Box, Necklace Music Box, a physical copy of the game with a little art book with the beginning cutscene, and the Undertale Collector's Edition OST CD, which includes some sheet music, and a cute little cleaning cloth. Let's talk about the music box. Now, I've heard some people say that their music box is out of tune, but mine works perfectly fine. Here's a sound test. If you've beaten the game on the passive route, you know how important this necklace is. And to see it come to life makes me want to curl up into a little tiny ball and cry. Because this is the most wholesome thing ever. The music box has good build quality and is plated with 14 karat gold. I don't know if that's good or not, but still good to know. Now, it's probably not the most comfortable necklace to wear, being pretty heavy for an actual necklace, but besides that, this is one of my favorite items. Next up, the physical copy of the game. I already love the Nintendo Switch case, so I kind of fell in love with it already. It looks like a real official Nintendo Switch game. Oh wait, it is. Inside, you have the game with a little art book, with the beginning cutscene and a little ad pamphlet. I don't know if people find this stuff annoying, but to me, it's like a little blast in the past. Like, some of this stuff is not even for sale anymore. You can also buy the physical copy of the game for $25 if you just wanna buy the game. Next up is a cute little cleaning cloth. This is only a little bonus for the Nintendo Switch edition. It's cute, but I'm probably not gonna take it out of the show. And finally, the Undertale OST CDs. First off, the art on the front and back is very fun, with Sand playing the trombone and Toriel and Shiren as singers, and then flip it around and you see Alphys playing the sax? Which is now canon and you cannot change my mind. And then you have Papyrus singing, which is just cool. When you open it up, you're greeted with two CDs and a book. Not a whole lot to say about the CDs. They're pretty cool though. Onto the book. The book includes a track list with sheet music? I was genuinely surprised to see this when I first got it. The sheet music includes five songs. I can't read sheet music, but I think some of the songs just show you how to play the beginning part because I know Hope and Dreams and it is not that short. But for some songs, it does look like it shows you how to play the whole song. If this is true, comment down below because I don't know if this is true or not. And for the final touch, just like the art book, Toby gives his notes and details about the songs. And that's it. We're done. But before we end, I want to talk about the prices. For the collector's edition, it's $75 except for the Switch. And for the Switch, it's $79. Now, it's kind of hard to calculate how much everything's worth, because I don't know how much 14 karat gold is, but this is for the diehard Undertale fans. So for me, $79 might be on the pricey side, but for me, I have no regrets. So it's up to you. And we're done. Thank you so much for watching. This is one of my favorite items on Fan Gamer, and I'm glad I can review it. If you have this, tell me, and I will make sure to comment on your comments because I do that for every comment. Anyways, uh yeah, see you guys. Bye. Don't don't get a comment and subscribe and all the other YouTube stuff. Bye.